Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, September 1st, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. It is the first trading day of September as we look here at the ES and the daily time frame. You'll notice right now that the ES is pushing below the previous month's low and close. So these are the new pivots here for the new month of trading, previous month's high, previous month's low. You have your previous month's close here and your previous month's midpoint way up here. Higher value relationship, overlapping higher value relationship for the pivot range, but a bearish bias on the close, which would suggest early weakness to begin the month. Any bounce could be seen as a selling opportunity for new lows ahead. So right now, keeping an eye on the previous session's close and low. It's also the previous month's low and close and a rejection here. So say price is able to push back above the 39.50, 39.60 level, that could open up an early bounce to begin the month, followed by any type of uh, primary trend rejection that could lead to the next primary trend move down. So again, watch the previous sessions low and close. Any bounce above 39.55, 39.60 could lead to a short-term push back up which could then be used as a selling opportunity for a rotation back down. If we take a look here at the NQ, this one's coming up to significant support. It's actually sitting right on significant uh, key level right now, which is the 12200 level. We're trading 12189 at the moment. It's basically this blue line. That blue line is the previous year's low price. It is also a big time uh, pivot in the charts. You can see how price has moved off that level, uh, either through it as a transition day or rejecting off of it uh, precisely. So this is going to be a big time level here. Again, if price can finish the day back above 12.2, 12.250, that could open up an early bounce to begin the month. You have the pivot range up here, and it's a higher value relationship, but with a bearish bias on the close, which means a bounce could be seen as a selling opportunity on the first test. So again, we could be looking at an early potential to bounce. Once that occurs, uh, the current short-term downtrend could lead to another rotation down. A failure to hold 12200 opens up all of this down here into about 11.4 and perhaps even lower. So 12200 a big time level for the NQ. Taking a look at crude oil. Right now crude oil trending uh, lower after a big time rejection here at the 95, 96, 97 level. Um, right up here above 97s there was a big time failure there. Price pushed back below the 95 level, 96 level and is now trading back toward the 8722s. 87.22 is that key FOMC key level from uh, January 26th. We've had multiple bounces off that level. We've now seen another test here. So how's the market going to proceed from here? We have the previous month's close, previous month's low, previous month's mid, and the previous month's high. So the idea again is this is such a significant area of support, a major CLVN in the chart that if price pushes down into 85s, it could open up another bounce back up within the range. But we still have an overall downward bias. So at some point, expecting some sort of violation at the 85, 86 level, which could open up 75s down below. But for right now, watching for signs that this thing may reject this lower edge and perhaps push higher. Looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin's down 1% right now but a very very narrow range overall about 50 percent of average uh, is sitting right inside the previous sessions range the previous sessions fell inside the one before that so we have a double inside day developing right now and very very narrow price action the last time we had several narrow days here we got a nice transition down over here as well getting narrow after rejection and breaking down so we're still kinda working downward here in Bitcoin this big transition day here helped price push back below 21k and we're now trading sub 20,000 so again do we need to come down here and take out the year's lows and snap back up into the range perhaps so uh, this narrow range is trading below the 8 period average in a downtrend so again even if this thing were to bounce the first test could be rejected 
for new lows ahead, especially given the lower value relationship on the monthly pivot range. Looking at ETH now, ETH, uh, this one continues to be one that is holding the best. But at the end of the day, if everything's dropping to lows, even the best things that are holding will tend to falter. So uh, this support level, very, very important. We've talked about it for some time. Price rejected off of it yet again, now trading in a narrow range at these highs. Uh, but we still have the downtrend in play. And even though this one bounced before, big transition day down. This was holding in range, big transition down, and it broke below 18. So we could still look for another rotation back down as this thing looks perhaps to test the 1300 CLVN down below. Overall, uh, trying to decipher whether it can stay above 1300, which is a major pivot in the charts. Can, we, can it drop and hold there? Or does it transition through there and retest the lows of the year? So big time levels here as it continues to build out. As we head into the new month of trading, September 1st, tomorrow we also have non-farm payrolls to look forward to, which could provide a little bit of volatility as we head into the holiday extended weekend. All right, that's it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.